Okay guys, welcome back. Going to be doing the boiling lake. Odd. Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, Emperor of Tenochtitlan. The death of Montezuma only served to further inflame the fury of my people. I planned to lead the attack personally against the Spanish. That is as it should be, Cuauhtémoc, the priests told me. For you are now our emperor. I took my place on the Iquipali throne, and the headdress of the emperor was placed upon my head. A crown is never a comfortable thing to wear. Cortes had still not made it far from Tenochtitlan, for the Spanish were weighted down with our stolen gold. As they fled around the shores of the lake, my warriors pursued them from canoes. I sent additional warriors by land, for it was obvious now that Cortes was attempting to flee back to the safety of his allies in Tlaxcala. We caught up with the Spanish on the north side of Lake Texcoco. Okay, let's get him. Feed the Tlaxcalans Collins and the Spanish. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm kind of spread out. The boys. Spanish shall never again set foot in Tenochtitlan. Let none escape our blades. Am I doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this looks like a fun one. Let's kick some ass. But nay, Chaconan. Being very nice to me on this one. Chaconan. Comanche, Sagonani. It's like you got a nice big fat population limit, too. What the hell's that? Who knew? Alright. What's the point of this? My Emperor. We have been studying Spanish horses and cannon and have found that there is no reason Aztecs could not use these weapons, provided we had the proper materials. If we capture Spanish horses, it is possible that we can train cavalry of our own. If we capture their stores of gunpowder, we could even create some cannons to use against the Spanish. Interesting. I don't think it would have been that easy for the Aztecs. I mean, it took, you know, Europeans a long time to come up with cavalry and uh, all that jazz. Oh, man. Mm. Shit, I need gold there. I also gotta get over there to get good. Maybe just walk. Stop doing that, damn it. Doesn't look like the uh, flash collar are gonna be that hard. Okay. 
Okay, I guess let's get a fuckload of peasants over here. Any stone? Yeah, gonna. Uh, how many you want? That's ten. Expensive, I knew. Do we have a blacksmith? No. Expensive. Well, at least we have an army to start off with. I mean, do you think that's enough to kill a flash collar? Doubt it. Maybe, uh, trebuchets? True, I guess. Hmm. Very expensive. Good thing you guys can walk around Lake Texcoco. Kind of crazy. I don't think Lake Texcoco exists anymore. This is all Mexico City now. Now, in the southern part of uh, Mexico City, they still have a little bit of the farmland that the Aztecs used, like on the waterways and stuff. But other than that, yeah. I'm not actually sure what they did with Lake Texcoco. I guess they just drained it and built over it. Kind of crazy. Yeah, that's all what the Aztecs would think about it now if they saw it. What the hell did you do to our lake? <sighs> yeah, we need a few things over here. Well, let's get some lumber. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. <sighs> Yes, let's go look around. Walk. See if we can take out the uh, flush collar before they become a pain in the ass. Axie, Axie. Axie. Bantel one. Besides when those farms sort them in their food, they need lots of lumber. Atsak. What, what, what? Bantil one. Whoa, 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 hello. And that son bitch down. Hmm. Cool. Bantel one. Whatever the fuck that is. I don't know whether they're gonna. We have not. captured a Spanish horse. If we return it to our citadel, perhaps we can learn to ride it into battle. Citadel, supposedly. Uh, I guess this. Until one. Kill 
We have trained a horse rider. Jesus freaking Christ. Who? Good thing you did that. Those guys that attacked my city. Ooh. No es bueno. Okay, okay. So I get too far ahead of ourselves here. Let's try and take out some of these towers. What are you doing? Bantel won't ask who. Let's get a couple hundred more of that. Okay, this little military excursion Phantom. is going pretty well so far. Just don't lose this army. Cost too much for repair. Oh, yeah. what the hell we make here? We have trained a horse rider. Tarkins, huh? Good to see you guys again. I didn't piss them off. Doing good on food production. Ah, let's see what they have, shall we? I thought you destroyed it. Maybe they both missed. It's quite embarrassing. Oh. Do they 
have a... Oh. We have trained a horse rider. They have towers in there. Damn. Bantel one. Oh, Bantel one. Chan Ik Ho Cha Ching Heck Cool. Until one.
lost my army. Yeah, we're out of gold. Until one. Trebuchets. Bunter one. I say fuck it and just go for it. I guess. Ran out of gold pretty fast there. Bunter one. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, where the hell is Spanish Matt? I don't know, they can be over here, they can be over here. Looks like they're over here. Hope I have enough men. Bantel Wong. Bantel Wong. Bantel Wong. Okay, fall back, fall back, fall back. Until one.
There we go. We got him. Okay, that was a good one. I hoped that the surviving Spanish on the edge of the lake could see as their captured comrades were dragged up the steps of the Great Pyramid. Perhaps they would then understand why we feared the wrath of the feathered serpent Quetzalcoatl. Perhaps they would know fear as well. With the fighting subsided, there was much work to be done. Our city has suffered much from the Spanish occupation and the fighting in the streets. The priests set out repairing the temples, for the Spanish had cast down the idols that we had placed there. We began a celebration to give thanks to the gods when a great plague struck Tenochtitlan. Many of our people became helpless and could only lie on their beds. Many others died. We did not know if the gods were still unhappy with us, or if this was some weapon unleashed by the Spanish. Regardless, if Cortes returned, he would find a much weakened city. I could not let that happen. So says Cuauhtémoc, Emperor of Tenochtitlan. Okay, yep, smallpox. Damn, I lost a lot of people. Yeah. Alright guys, says one more left, poking spears. I'll see you next time for the final episode of my go-through on Age of Empires 2 The Aztec Campaign.